Hello and welcome to another update video about SUI. Yeah, on this chart, we are dealing with the um, possible third wave to the upside here. In the white scenario, um, the market reacted to micro support that we talked about and the pullback remained a three wave move. It is still worth to be skeptical because this is looking like a fragile structure. To give you an example, the initial move up from the swing low that formed on Sunday is only in three waves. So it looks kind of corrective. However, um, then again, you know, this is where micro counting is less important than the levels. So the levels are always more, more important, especially on smallest time frames, because we only use the wave counts to get the levels, right? And then we use the levels to identify possible reversals. And down here, naturally, in all of these pivot areas, in these support areas, it kind of can make sense to look for an entry. The market rallied. We've now rallied from support into the next target area, which is defined between 236 and 282. And the... Um, 138% extension is the first ideal target for a third wave actually. Okay, so this is what the first, the third wave should ideally reach, 263. Then the fourth wave might sort of reach 236 um, in the pullback. And then the fifth wave should send us higher to 280 plus, yeah? So this is what we'd like to see in this white scenario. Then we have the next five waves up. Um, it is worth to be skeptical as I said, because this rally looks a little corrective from the base. And it's only a three wave move and we've reached 100% extension. So it could easily be a B wave as well. But then again, we're forming higher highs and higher lows. So as long as we're holding the updated micro support, which is located between $2.05 and $2.21, um, the focus could be on higher, right? So why is that? Because if this is an impulse to the upside, then it shouldn't break below $2.05. So that's the key level, $2.05. And as long as we're holding that, the white count seems to be in control below that level, yellow. What is yellow? Yellow would just mean we've topped in a larger degree third wave in October. This was an A wave down. This is an ABC structure to the upside in wave B. And we're breaking below support, so it means wave C is unfolding. Then we can recover. So naturally now is not the best time to enter a long trade that was down here in the support area. That's why they are on the chart. Uh, nice and big and colorful and however if the market now tests this support area yeah you know it might be another opportunity uh, depending on your time frame wave degree skill level and everything but please note that uh, we've obviously now rallied quite a bit already from the support area quite substantially from around about $1.70 to around about um, to around about 236 um, it's quite a bit right but the third wave to call it a, a viable third wave it should um, send the price to the 138% extension, right? So that is normally the first ideal target because if it's not even getting there, I wouldn't trust any pullback to be this wave degree of a fourth wave. But we might at any point start an internal fourth wave pullback, but even that shouldn't break below $2.05. So overall outlook remains positive now on the micro level against $2.05. Okay, if we break below it, this support area is still relevant, remains relevant. It's between 132 and 152. That's the update about SUI. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.